Well, so, of course. I mean, the, the uh, left has said everyone's kind of the same. Uh, all inequalities result from exploitation, and the only solution is to use the power of the government to reallocate resources, which is a never-ending escalation to tyranny, as we've seen throughout the 20th century in particular. If you look at the leftists and you say that the concern for the poor, look at just over the last 20 years, look at two places in the world, India and China. And in those two countries, literally hundreds of millions of people have got out of dire poverty into the lower middle classes. Yeah. In, in India alone, 50,000 people a month are moving into the middle class. The result yeah. of liberalization of the economy, some free market principles, some private property, some contract enforcement, and the left should be celebrating this if they care about the poor. It has been the biggest reduction in human poverty throughout yeah. all of human history. They should study that and try to replicate it, but instead they seek That's to interfere right. and undermine it. Instead of instead of like supporting Venezuela, and so so you know the other thing that that's interesting there that's worth pointing out is that the the left, especially the internationalists among the left, should be of course rejoicing about what's happened in India and China. But then the 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 people who are more concerned with national policy, say in the United States, the Democrats, for example, specifically the Democrats as well as the New Democratic Party in Canada should also recognize that a fair bit of the progress of the impoverished in India and China has been purchased at the price of the relative decline of the working class in North America. And the working class in North America could use a strong, coherent, non-politically correct, non-identity politics oriented left, like the unions used to be you know, back in the 50s, let's say, or even in the early 60s. And instead they've abandoned the actual working class where, who, who deserve to have a a valid political voice to play identity politics to justify their postmodern neo-Marxism, and you know that cost the that cost the Democrats the election. And good, I'm thrilled about that. They deserved exactly what they got. It was theirs for the losing. So well, then it doesn't seem like they're about to learn any lessons. Of course, Jordan, it looks like they're doing the usual leftist thing, which is to double down on the ideology despite all evidence. And this, of course, is what they're choosing to do now rather than learn the lessons of last year's election and trying to find a way to reconnect back to the working class.